dear friends in this video we are going to discuss about a numerical on a injector system in the last few lectures we already started to discuss the things about the injector and the injection system itself now in this video we are going to discuss about a very important part of this chapter that is the numerical part as we already discussed about the few important formulas in the last few videos now here we are going to discuss a numerical on a injector system itself so here we have a problem statement so please concentrate on this particular statement a six cylinder four stroke diesel engine develops 125 kilowatt at 3000 rpm its brake specific fuel consumption that is nothing but bsfc is 200 g per kilowatt hour calculate the quantity of fuel to be injected per cycle per cylinder the specific gravity of fuel may be taken as 0.85 so the data is given in this particular problem so according to the statement we have to write the given data first so in this case a number of cylinders are six so it is a six cylinder engine so we can write six cylinder so again the four stroke diesel engine is there which develops 125 kilowatt power so this kilowatt is the unit of power that's why directly we can consider let us assume this capital p stands for the power and which is given in the problem that is 125 kilowatt so the brake specific fuel consumption that is bsfc this value is given 200 g per kilowatt hour so if we convert it into kilogram then this 200 will convert into 0.2 kilogram per kilowatt hour so the specific gravity of fuel is also given in the problem that is 0.85 so here we have taken the specific gravity of fuel is equal to 0.85 so according to this particular given data we have to calculate the quantity of fuel to be injected per cycle per cylinder okay so to solve such kind of a problems here we have a specific methodology so the step number 1 in this particular solution is fuel consumption per hour for all cylinder so here we are going to calculate first the fuel consumption per hour when or for all cylinder so number of cylinders are six so for all six cylinders we are going to calculate the fuel consumption per hour so here we have the formula of calculations of fuel consumption per hour which is equal to brake specific fuel consumption into power output so bsfc into power output so bsfc is already given in the problem that is 0.2 kg per kilowatt hour multiply by the power output which is the 125 so please put the values and get the answer please check it at your home with the help of the calculators okay so after putting the values the final answer will come 25 kg per hour okay so this is about the fuel consumption per hour for all cylinders so the next one fuel consumption per hour for one cylinder so this 25 kg per hour this is the value of fuel consumption per hour for all cylinder that is number of cylinders are 6 in this case so if we want to calculate this value fuel consumption per hour for one cylinder then we have to divide to this value by 6 so 25 divided by 6 then we can get the value that is 4.17 kg per hour okay so this is the fuel consumption per hour for one cylinder number of cylinders are 6 so we have divided by 6 to this value 25 so 25 by 6 here we can get 4.17 kg per hour so after this first calculation the second calculation is of fuel consumption per cycle here we calculated fuel consumption per hour for all cylinders and this is the fuel consumption per hour for single cylinder or for one cylinder so now here we are going to calculate the fuel consumption per cycle and we have the formula of fuel consumption per cycle is equal to fuel consumption per cylinder per minute divided by number of cycle per minute 
so this is the standard formula to calculate the fuel consumption per cycle so again uh, we have just calculated fuel consumption per hour for one cylinder uh, that value we have to put over here fuel consumption per cylinder per minute so 4.167 or just 4.17 put that value over here so per minute so this value is of per hour so divided by 60 then we can get this value uh, for per minute itself so the number of cycle per minute again the number of cycle per minute is nothing but n suffix i value so how we can calculate the n suffix i this is the number of cycle per minute for the four stroke engine we know the rpm by 2 because uh, there are the two revolutions of the crankshaft in the case of four stroke engine so n by 2 that is nothing but n i value and uh, in this case the rpm of the engine is given that is 3000 rpm so 3000 divided by 2 the value will come 1500 so put that value over here 1500 and finally we can get the answer for fuel consumption per cycle is equal to 4.63 into 10 to minus 5 kg so please do the calculations at your home please use the calculators and try to check the answers coming are right or wrong okay so this is 4.63 into 10 to minus 5 kg so after this one uh, now we are going to calculate the next step that is volume of fuel injected per cycle so the formula of uh, volume of fuel injected per cycle is equal to fuel consumption per cycle divided by density of fuel now here we have calculated fuel consumption per cycle that is 4.63 into 10 to minus 5 put that value over here divided by density of fuel so the density is not directly given but the specific gravity of fuel is given that is 0.85 so we can get the value of the density that is multiplied by 1000 so 850 kg per meter cube that is nothing but the density of fuel so put that value and finally we can get uh, the value of uh, volume of fuel injected per cycle that is uh, equal to 5.45 into 10 to minus at meter cube so please uh, do check this particular answer so uh, after this final stage uh, you would understand why we have calculated all these things because each and every steps are depending on each other first of all we have calculated fuel consumption per hour for all cylinders then for single cylinder then after this uh, the next value uh, which is based on this fuel consumption per hour for one cylinder that is the value of fuel consumption per cycle then after uh, fuel consumption per cycle we have calculated finally the volume of fuel injected per cycle so these all steps are depending on each other and uh, this is the final solution of this particular problem so after this first problem now we are going to discuss the another problem okay so the statement is again important four cylinder four stroke diesel engine develops 100 kilowatt at 2500 rpm its bsfc is 180 gram per kilowatt hour calculate the quantity of fuel to be injected per cycle per cylinder and uh, here we have to take the specific gravity of fuel is equal to 0.95 so a somewhat similar kind of a problem is there again similarly here we have to calculate the fuel consumption per hour the bsfc into power output now in this case the bsfc is already given that is 180 gram per kilowatt hour so convert that value of bsfc to kilogram per kilowatt hour by divided by 1000 and uh, the power output is already given in the problem that is 100 kilowatt so put all the values and uh, the answer will come 18 kg per hour 18 kg per hour so after this one the next step uh, would be fuel consumption per hour per cycle so again uh, here we got the fuel consumption per hour this is for all cylinder so here are the four cylinder so divided by 4 18 by 4 we can get the answer is 4.5 kg per hour so after this one the next step that is the fuel consumption per cycle as we already discussed the formula of fuel consumption per cycle this uh, calculated answer uh, 4.5 kg per hour divided by 60 that is converted into uh, that minute and divided by that n suffix i value so here 
the rpm is given to 500 rpm so divided by 2 for the two revolution of the crankshaft so the ni value will come and finally we can get the answer 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 kg itself and finally the volume of fuel injected per cycle so here we have the formula of volume of fuel injected per cycle use the same formula and put the required values and we can get the answer 6.32 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter cube so please do check the answers uh, with your own calculators calculations are very important so i hope you understood the things clearly about uh, kind of uh, numericals on the injector so thank you so much for watching the session